When you're mad at When you're mad at the boy, you're mad what's the word And I see you're dead It don't matter It's not my fault to make this headboard, we're going to start off by putting three foam boards aside. These ones are not going to be cut at all. And then with these other three, we are going to have to make some adjustments. So I am measuring across 16 and a half inches and then I'm creating a straight line so that I have a guide when it comes time to cut. And we're going to be doing this to two of the foam boards. So, so far you should have two foam boards that are 16 and a half inches across. And now with this third one, we're going to make this one 13 inches across. And then again, draw a straight line so you have a guide on where to cut. Next step is to cut out our foam boards using a blade and just tracing along the lines that we drew. So at this point you should have three foam boards that have not been cut, two that are cut 16 and a half inches across, and then one that is 13 inches across. We're going to begin assembling our headboard by placing the two foam boards that were not cut on the ends and the 13 inch wide foam board in the middle. And then on top of that, we're going to be stacking the 16 and a half inch wide foam boards on the ends and then the non-cut foam board right on top like so. Now I am just taking this adhesive spray along with my glue gun to start gluing together my foam boards how we previously just assembled them. Here I am just going back to reinforce any of the edges that may not have been glued down properly and then I'm going to take some tape to reinforce where I went ahead and cut along on the foam boards. Now I am taking my polyester batting and just opening it up and laying it on top of the foam board and then we are going to go ahead and flip it over. This step is pretty simple, just make sure you are pulling tightly on the batting and then we are going to go ahead and staple all the way around. After that we are just going to trim off the excess batting and then I do not show it on here but I am adding another layer of batting and then stapling it and trimming it again and this is what it's going to look like when I am all done. So here I am just calculating how far apart I'm going to be placing my nail heads and then I already went ahead and ironed my choice of fabric and laid it on top of our foam board and in case any of you guys are wondering it is the side that is completely covered with the batting. And as you guys can see here, I am just taking my handheld stapler and adding a little X anywhere that I'm going to be adding my nail heads. This is going to kind of give it a little tufted effect. So after we are done placing these staples where our nail heads are going, you're going to flip it over and start pulling tightly on the fabric and just stapling it into place. And then of course, once you are done going all the way around, we are just going to trim off the excess fabric. So once you flip it over, it should look something like this. And now I am just taking my upholstery nail heads and putting them into place. I'm sort of just going to use this as a hammer and just push them into the foam board. So then I do recommend that with your excess foam board you cut out little squares like I did and stack about three of them on top of each other and glue them into place. And I added these on each of the four corners along with one in the center. And this is going to help your foam board from laying directly on the wall because the nail heads do stick out slightly past the foam board and after that I am just taking my command strips and adding those directly on top of these foam boards and that is how I'm going to be mounting my headboard because I do not want to place any type of holes into my wall. <laughs> 